Let it be gaming, social media, and even streaming services. This brand has holdings everywhere. We're talking about Tencent, the tech giant that's been making waves all over the world. It's a free-to-play business that the Japanese and Chinese companies dominate the industry. You look Tencent yeah. only released about three games in the last quarter. You are seeing that drag, but one of the things you... And we're watching as the uh, Chinese tech companies join the bandwagon most recently with Baidu and their announcement of their Ernie bot. So, do you want to know the truth about Tencent? How they became so successful and how they've managed to fly under the radar for so long? Then stick around because this is a story you won't want to miss. To start things off, Tencent was founded in 1998 by a man named Ma Huateng. At the time, Ma Huateng was working for another company and was frustrated with the lack of innovation in the tech industry in China. So, he decided to take matters into his own hands and start his own company. And there came Tencent. They initially started out by creating an instant messaging platform called OICQ, which later became QQ. Now, this platform quickly gained popularity among Chinese users, and this was just the beginning of Tencent's rise to the top. Over the years, Tencent expanded its services to include online gaming, social media, e-commerce, and more. One of its most notable accomplishments was the creation of WeChat, a social messaging app that quickly became a household name in China and gained popularity around the world. But how did Tencent manage to grow to such a massive extent? How did Tencent become one of the most valuable companies in the world? One of the biggest reasons for Tencent's success is its ability to adapt to the changing times. Tencent has always been at the forefront of technology, and they've been able to stay ahead of the game by constantly innovating and evolving its products and services. After starting off as a simple instant messaging service QQ, they quickly realized the potential of the internet and expanded its services to include social media, online gaming, and more. But it's not just about creating new products. Tencent has also been successful in acquiring and investing in other companies that complement their existing businesses. For instance, they acquired Riot Games, the makers of League of Legends, which has become one of the most popular games in the world. Tencent also invested in companies like Tesla, Snap Inc., and JD.com, which have helped diversify their portfolio and expand their reach beyond China. Another key factor in Tencent's success is its focus on user experience. They understand that their success is directly tied to the satisfaction of their users, so they're constantly improving their products and services to meet the ever-changing needs of their customers. They've also been able to build a loyal user base through strategic partnerships with other companies and brands. But perhaps the most impressive thing about Tencent is its ability to think outside the box. They're not afraid to take risks and try new things, even if it means stepping outside of their comfort zone. For instance, they recently launched a cloud gaming service, which allows users to play high-quality games on their smartphones without the need for a console or PC, and this really helped boost the number of users on their platforms. Of course, Tencent's success hasn't come without its fair share of challenges. But as with any big player, Tencent has attracted the attention of regulators, in recent years, the Chinese government has been tightening its grip on the tech industry, and Tencent has been caught up in the crosshairs. One of the biggest issues that Tencent has faced is data privacy. With so much personal information being shared on its platforms, there have been concerns about how that data is being used and protected. In 2018, Tencent was fined for failing to properly obtain users' consent before collecting and using their personal information. But that's not all. Tencent has also been targeted for its dominant market position. In 2020, China's State Administration for Market Regulation launched an investigation into Tencent over alleged anti-competitive practices. The investigation focused on Tencent's exclusive licensing deals with music labels, which were said to harm competition in the music streaming industry. Tencent was fined and ordered to end its exclusive deals. So, what does all of this mean for Tencent's future? Well, it's hard to say. On one hand, Tencent has proven to be incredibly resilient, and it's likely that the company will continue to adapt and thrive in the face of regulatory challenges. On the other hand, these challenges are not going away anytime soon, and Tencent will need to be careful to avoid any further regulatory action. However, Tencent has continued to innovate and adapt, and it remains one of the most influential companies in the tech industry today. Now the thing is, you might have heard about this company only very recently, so there's this question, were these guys under the radar for all these times? How did they do it? 
Obviously, this isn't a newly sprouted company. This brand has a ton of history, and it was us who didn't know they were here the whole time. At the time when Tencent was just born, at this point in time, the tech industry in China wasn't exactly booming. In fact, it was still in its infancy. And this is where Tencent's first stroke of genius came into play. Instead of trying to compete with established companies, Tencent decided to focus on a niche that nobody else was paying attention to instant messaging. Yes, you heard that right. Remember when we spoke about QQ? Tencent's first big product was the instant messaging app called QQ. And while instant messaging might seem like a small and insignificant niche, it was actually the perfect entry point into the tech industry for Tencent. You see, instant messaging was a relatively new concept at the time, and there weren't a lot of players in the market. This meant that Tencent was able to dominate the instant messaging space in China and build a massive user base. But Tencent didn't stop there. They quickly realized that in order to continue growing, they needed to diversify their product offerings. And this is where Tencent's second stroke of genius came into play. They started acquiring other companies. Now this might not seem like a big deal. After all, lots of companies acquire other companies. But what made Tencent's approach so unique was its focus on acquiring companies that complemented their existing product offerings. For example, they acquired a gaming company to help bolster their gaming division and a social media company to help expand their social media offerings. By doing this, Tencent was able to grow its business strategically and deliberately. But even with all of this growth, Tencent managed to stay relatively under the radar for a long time. So, how did they do it? First of all, Tencent has always been a very private company. They don't do a lot of public speaking or media appearances, and they keep their business dealings very neat and quiet. And this has helped them maintain a certain level of mystique and intrigue that has kept people interested in the company. Secondly, these guys have a pretty loyal customer base that has helped them grow their business through word of mouth, and we have discussed how they managed to achieve that. Finally, Tencent has always been very strategic in its approach to growth. They don't try to do too much too quickly and are always looking for ways to expand their offerings in a way that makes sense for their business. This has helped them avoid making big missteps that could have put them in the public eye in a negative way. Anyways, let's look into the most important part. How does Tencent's growth affect other companies? The answer is, it depends. Tencent's size and influence can be both a blessing and a curse for other companies, depending on how they approach it. Let me explain. On the one hand, Tencent's vast ecosystem of services and products can provide opportunities for smaller companies to leverage their offerings and reach a wider audience. For instance, Tencent's WeChat platform has over a billion active users, and it offers an entire ecosystem of services within the app, such as social networking, instant messaging, e-commerce, and mobile payments. This presents an enormous potential for other companies to tap into that user base and offer their products and services. On the other hand, Tencent's dominance in certain sectors can also stifle competition and create a barrier to entry for new players. For example, Tencent is the world's largest gaming company, and it owns stakes in many other gaming companies, giving it significant control over the industry. This can make it harder for new game developers to break into the market and compete with Tencent's established offerings. So, is Tencent's growth a warning signal? Well, it's complicated. On the one hand, Tencent's financial performance has been impressive in recent years, with revenues and profits soaring. On the other hand, Tencent's dominance in certain areas has raised concerns about its market power and potential anti-competitive behavior. For instance, Tencent has been accused of using its dominance in the Chinese social media market to stifle competition and harm smaller players. It has also been criticized for its content moderation practices, which some argue are too strict and limit free speech. Moreover, Tencent's global ambitions have also raised concerns in some quarters. The company has been aggressively expanding its presence in foreign markets, investing in companies such as Tesla, Snap, and Epic Games. Some worry that Tencent's growing influence could pose a threat to national security, particularly in countries with sensitive industries such as defense and technology. So, what does all this mean for other companies? Well, it means that they need to be mindful of Tencent's size and influence and adjust their strategies accordingly. They need to be aware of the potential opportunities that Tencent's ecosystem presents while also being prepared for the challenges that come with competing in a market dominated by a large player like Tencent. Anyways, 
From its humble beginnings as an instant messaging platform to its current status as a tech giant, it has been a pretty huge growth. From gaming to social media, music to streaming, they've got their hands in everything. Think about it, Tencent has access to more data than you could ever imagine. They know what games you play, what music you listen to, and what videos you watch. It's like they're always watching, always listening. Now is that alarming? That's a small question with a big answer. So if you guys want to know if Tencent's going to be a threat, do stay tuned to our channel for more updates. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Do drop your views in the comments section below. We'll catch you in the next episode. Until then, stay tuned.